We are going over algebraic expressions, equations, and tables. My learning target is I can compare two rules verbally, numerically, and graphically, and symbolically in the form of y equals ax or y equals x plus a in order to differentiate between additive and multiplicative relationships. So some things we need to go over. The independent variable is the variable that is being controlled. In a problem, it causes the change in the dependent variable. In an equation, the independent variable is represented by the letter x and is also on the x-axis. The dependent variable is a change in the independent variable. which causes a change in the dependent variable. The dependent variable relies on the independent variable. In an equation, it's represented by the letter y and is represented on the y-axis, um, the vertical axis on a graph. So what is the additive property? It is adding the same number to any x value to get a corresponding y value. Um, when we have a, an equation with an additive property, just the additive property, it does not go through the origin of the graph, which is the coordinates 0, 0. When you have multiplicative property is multiplying the same number to any x value to get a corresponding y value and it does go through the origin. So what is an expression? An expression does not have an equal sign. and an equation does have an equal sign. So that's the difference between those two. All right, so number one says write an expression and an equation for the data table. So one's gonna have an equal sign, one is not going to have an equal sign. So we kinda need to look at the pattern that's going on here. How do I get from negative three to one? How do I get from five to nine? That's easy for me to recognize. That's plus four, six plus four is 10 and negative three plus four is one. So I would be doing x plus four is the expression and then the equation is y equals x plus four. All right, this is write an expression and equation for the data table. So we need to look at the, how do we get from negative one to negative five, zero to zero and one to five. I could add four is negative one plus four, negative five. No, it's negative three, so that's not gonna work. Let's try multiplication. So times five times five, times five, that looks like that's gonna work. So my expression is five X. My equation is five equals, or Y equals five times X. All right, fill in the table using Y equals negative seven X. That means I'm gonna multiply all the X values by negative seven. So negative 10 minus negative seven is 70. Negative 7 times 0 is 0, and then 3 times negative 7 is negative 21. All right, number 4, it says, using the graph, fill in the table, and write the expression and the equation.
So I'm going to start with at negative one, we are at positive two. At zero, we are at positive three. And at one, we are at positive four. So what is happening here, it looks like we're adding three. So that would be x plus three and y equals x plus three. Number five, using the graph fill in the table and write the expression and equation. So negative one, we are at negative four, zero, zero. So this one goes through the origin, so I know that it's gonna be multiplicative. And then one, Four. So this is going to be 4x or y equals 4x. So that's a great way. I just, I'm going to go back and kind of reiterate that. It goes through the origin, so we know it's multiplicative. This does not go through the origin, so we know it's additive. This one does not go through the origin, additive. Goes through the origin, multiplicative. Goes through the origin, multiplicative. So that can also help us look for a pattern. We're not going to even try to do addition if we see that it goes through the origin. And I should have talked about that beforehand and should have thought about that. But that came to me just.